It's good to have you again. This is a news update on Galaxy Television. I'm Solomon Offem. The Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki and his Deputy Philip Shaibu have been sworn in for a second term in office. The inauguration event was held on Thursday at Samuel Ogbemudia Stadium in Benin City, the state capital. Dignitaries in attendance include governors of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Amin Tambuwal of Sokoto State, Yesam Wike of River State, Doyo Diri of Bayosa State, Ifan Yokowa of Delta State, among others. PDP National Chairman Uche Seconders is also present at the event with some other leaders of the party. Uh, the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, has assured Nigerians of adequate security in the face of lingering insecurity across the land. Abubakar, who gave the assurance after he inspected a Badon Airport and Air Force Comprehensive High School, said the essence of the operational visit is to identify all gaps in the operations of the Nigeria Air Force across the country. Correspondent Kunlojo reports that the Chief of Air spoke with the journalist. So security, we are doing everything humanly possible to ensure that Nigeria is secure. With the support of Mr. President, the National Assembly, all hands are on deck. Uh, like I said, uh, yesterday we were in Makodi. About nine aircraft have been reactivated. Uh, two of these aircraft will be activated locally here to enhance the capacity of our people, while the remaining ones will be taken out to go and do the reactivation. Here to, as part of our strategy to look at what is required in terms of structure. We used to have the military airlift command here in, in Ibadan, but at the time we had to uh, you know, relocate the units and bring back another smaller unit. Like this I want to now, uh, the chief is here to see what there are challenges in this school. And uh, as from my own side, as a parliamentary, because they are coming next week to the budget defense. So that I can see myself. So that when they come to us in National Assembly, if they say they need this, they need this, so I can be able to say yes, me too, I've been there and I've seen it. Oyo State House of Assembly has lifted the suspension of its uh, it placed on 13 caretaker chairmen in the state after it has received House Committee report and an unreserved apology from the affected chairman. The chairman, House Committee on Local Government and Chief Tenancy Matters, Lushegon Pukwola, while presenting its committee report to the House during its Thursday plenary, noted that it was evident that the NSAS protest disrupted many activities in the state, including the affected chairman inability to gain access to the House of Assembly on or before the deadline required for submission of the report. According to the report, the committee noted that failure of the 13 suspended caretaker chairman to provide reports to the House on states of earth-moving equipment in the various local government was not an attempt to undermine the authority and powers of the House. For more updates and latest news, visit our website galaxytvonline.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel youtube.com for slash galaxytvnigeria. You can follow and interact with us on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Galaxy TV, or tweet at us at Galaxy TV. Don't forget to follow and tag us on our Instagram page at Galaxy TV News. You can also avail our eyewitness feature via WhatsApp. If you have breaking news around you, simply share your story by sending short clips or videos of the news on 0818 Our social media platforms are user-friendly and can always accommodate your live updates and comment. And that's the news update for this time. Do join us again at 6.30 for a full news bulletin. I'm Solomon Offem. Good afternoon.